Hello all, how you doing today? So, what I've got here is, what I found is to be the best farming method in Dying Light 2. Now, I've seen a lot of tutorials online, and most of, a fair amount of them, I should say, indicate that the bazaar is a good place to farm infected trophies. You see these trucks around the, around the bazaar, well, what they do is they go into the back of them during uh, a chase scene at night. And the Zeds have a, a, a moment to get up into the van, allowing you time to hit them as they crawl in. And you can kill them easily. Now, that's alright. Like, I, I, I personally don't like being cornered in the back of the van at all. I've tried that method. And it, it can get just crazy sometimes. So I personally didn't like it. So I had to try to find something different and unique. Well, here at the middle of the map of Trinity, at the very first start area, is the perfect spot I found for farming. What it is, is it basically involves right here, this place here. This bridge is my farming bridge. So what I do is, now in the UV lights is my, is the back, is my backup. So if anything happens, I can run into the UV lights and I'm safe. So I'll go in here at night. And again, this is all at the very start of the game. Right here at the safe zone below tra the word Trinity. So I'll go at night. If I sleep. <laughs> yeah. Not bullshit. Wake up. Yeah. Why not? Uh, and then I'll go out here. And then what I'll do is I'll start a chase. Now, as you can see, my throwing knives are really strong. They're gonna kill the screamers. So I'll craft some, either, uh, so you can, at start of the game, you're gonna have low end knives anyway. So it's perfect for that. Otherwise, what I would say is find something that's a distance weapon that's not gonna cause much damage. So I'll craft a bunch of the infected blades that I've gotten throughout my journeys in this game. Any weapon will do, you know, when you first start out, uh, you know, obviously you're not going to have that strong weapon, so you're going to require more swings to the uh, Zeds than I will. Because currently, my bat that I'm using does 370 points of damage. I'm only level 7, so as you can see with the map, I'm not, I, I'm far, but I, you know, I don't have, I still have... Pfft, I still got a lot of shit I don't have explored yet, you know, but this farming method has been true tested tr for sure. As you can see, I have a crap ton of mutation samples. You know, it's perfect for getting infected trophies for upgrading. It's perfect for getting money. So all I do is at nighttime, I'll start at night, you know, sleep. Uh, go to my infected daggers. And what I'll do is I'll find a... Oh, lost myself here. I'll find a screamer that's relatively easy to get screaming. And there's one down here. Always down here. Throw a knife at him. Scream that bitch. Scream, bitch, scream. So the chase has started. So I'll head over here. My back is protected by the UV light, so nothing's gonna, gonna come behind me. And So they're only gonna come funneled down this bridge. Makes it so much simpler. As you level up, you know, you, you'll eventually be able to only do one swing to kill these guys. Even two or three swings is not bad. Because as you can see, they're not overwhelming. They're taking their time coming to me. You know, I can, I can get to level four now. But personally, I prefer to get maybe level three. I'm not after this for a lot of combat points. But it is an awesome, uh, an awesome way to get combat points as well. So just keep swinging, you know. Your health, you can take some damage, but you know, not a lot. I have a couple of health packs available, just in case. But you control this situation. See? Nothing major. Bad swings. You know. Right? So there's no AI, uh, so no Zeds. So we're gonna run around and try to wake some more up. Doesn't always work. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. 
you know, just keep running around in this area. So chase ended. Okay, so now we got a bunch of Zeds here dead. So I could sit here and search each one, but that's just pain in the ass. So I'll run over here as far as I can away from these guys while still staying up here on the roof. Come here, turn around, run back. And voila, they're all a bunch of sacks. And as you can see, it makes it so much more simpler. I'm not feeling cornered. I have a safe spot to go to. So if I, you know, my skull at the top goes down, I can stand here and get my skull back. So what I'll do again now that that's over, I'll run over here. And it's just a, a simple rinse and repeat. <laughs> Scream, bitch. Thank you. Chase started. Stand over here. This, this this spot here is a really good spot. So what I'll do is I'll come to come walk into them. Walk backwards. So as soon as they step on the bridge, walk forward, hit them, walk backwards. Let them come to the bridge, walk forward, bash them in the head, walk backwards. Easy peasy. That means queasy. Fuck. <laughs> See ya. We'll do this for a little bit here, just to give you an idea of what we're doing here. Oh my guy, how you doing? Yeah. So now we're going to see if more comes up. You gotta be careful not to walk off the edge of the rope. But you, you know, with some practice, you can stay right here on the bridge easy enough. It's not, it's not even a challenge. Forward and backwards, forward and backwards. Now we'll walk over here. Sometimes you'll see these big guys. Now that's a lot easier than most people take him down, but that's okay. He's not a beginner monster or creature. Hello. Come on. Chase me. Come on, chase scene. Come on, people. Human. Feed. Oh, okay. Now, I have gotten this up to level 3 or 4 at times. So, we'll run over here again. Turn around. Come back. And it's a bunch of bags. Very easy to do. Let's go get that guy there. Where's he at? Where'd he have to go? I know the big guy oh, there he is. But this is like sometimes random events will happen right here. Like uh again, sometimes that big gray guy will actually be here. Sometimes it's other random events. Random events to have and randomly, obviously, when you run away and come back. <laughs> Chase started, rinse and repeat. And you will take some damage, so, you know, have health packs ready. <laughs> Nothing major, you know. I mainly have my health packs ready to go in case I hit level 3 or 4 and a, big, a bunch of grey guys come out. But otherwise, these guys are just basic money. Money making machines. Oh, where is he at? There he is. Come on. Hold on. Taste my bat. Mmm, yummy bats. Not hard. And again, 
This is right here at the start of the game. Perfect spot to get money and mutation trophies, whatever they are called, infected trophies, to upgrade your whatever, your, your mods and stuff. And you get a combat skill at night. You know. This just simplifies the whole process. It's a farming spot. It's the perfect farming spot, I think. I haven't found anything better yet. Ah, oh, he ran away. Didn't he see me? That's stupid. No, this is stupid. No, the weird. Because I'm not getting past uh, one night or one one chase, level one chase. But you can you can make a couple thousand coin as well as uh, each night. And again, it's just rinse and repeat. They're all guys, but this is it. I don't know. But I would say they're they they, they look guyish. I'm not judging, but you know, a few female zombies would be nice. Equality. <laughs> Taste my butt. And you can do this with any weapon, really. Like, I'm using a bat because it does decent damage. Oh, come on now, really? Okay, so now that I'm making this fucking tutorial, nothing above chase level 2 is gonna happen. See, look. Run, you fucker. Run! Run, you bitch! Anyway. Yeah, let's run back here and turn all these these corpses to ca uh, sacks. Run back here. <sighs> so that's uh, basically it. Again, very simple, very easy to do. Spot to sleep. Perfect spot to farm. Right here in the middle of Trinity. At the very start of the game. Thanks for all.